Namaste and greetings, my beautiful queens, my beautiful souls. The uh, scariest of them all, Seven of Swords. Finally, we are going to look into. Classical uh, deck is right here and Arcanum deck is right here. Mercury, the deceit, insincerity, a set up. The worst card, probably one of the worst, the, uh, equi um, the equivalent to uh, this card in its negativity uh, would be Devil and the Moon. What do you see when you look at this card? It's the card which you never ever want to see, not in love relationship, not in anywhere. Uh, especially it is clear uh, in here, you see a man uh, dis disguised in black, he steals uh, their swords, so in the middle of the night he gets uh, on the other side, like two army, imagine two armies or two groups of people are fighting, and uh, this man steals the swords from uh, the group of people which they are supposed to be fighting uh, in the morning. So, um, in the morning, this person's peers or friends, whoever they are, they will attack. They will attack their enemies or competitors and kill them because they will not even have any chance to protect themselves because they will not even have any weapon to protect themselves. So this uh, card shows you that you will not have any chance to survive or to save yourself. The really scary card because it leads, uh, if not paid attention, it leads to a uh, disastrous situation because if you take scary cards like three of um, sorts, well, it's a betrayal, yes, and a breakup and betrayal and broken heart, but still you can survive there. Uh, if you take uh, this one, uh, if not taken into consideration, it means the outcome will be tragic. So, we will start <clears throat> with love and relationship. Let me get my water. What it means, of course, the insincer in insincerity. Someone is extremely cruel, extremely cruel, with no even a sign or a cramp of compassion or empathy or um, kindness or uh, remorse or guilt, nothing like this. But the scariest thing in the world is that this partner, this partner wears his mask absolutely geniusly. Everything about this person is false. And uh, every, every word, every smile, every blink of the eye is false. This person, most, mostly men, uh, fem I, I've seen female uh, depicted by this card maybe three times in my entire life. 
usually it's a professional it's it's um there are professional pickuppers i don't know if you ever heard about it you can google it there are even schools and trainings of professional manipulators pickuppers there are techniques they are used including nlp neuro linguistic programming uh, programming and hypnosis and so on so uh this person is severely using and manipulating the other severely uh, and while doing that he's enjoying it enjoying it to the full it is so much fun uh and uh the scary thing that usually a woman if you do a reading for a woman and this card comes out the scariest one is she fully trusts him because it's a genius of deceit sometimes they even can uh cause some type of strange admiration because they are geniuses in uh in deceit they are deceitful and uh, the the victim fully trusts them and even if you try to warn the victim the victim is not going to believe even if you give the victim tons of proofs uh till the last second when there will be no a uh, turning back the victim is going to keep on believing that she's dealing with the wonderful person even if you're going to scream to the victim what are you doing open your eyes what is wrong with you he is not who you think he is he is not who you hope he is he's fooling you he's he's making you running around his finger what are you doing unfortunately very often you know who's going to become an enemy you or those people who try to open uh her eyes will become an enemy uh feelings does this man let's mostly it's a man have any feelings this partner uh, have any feelings no it's a manipulator professional uh, thief manipulator with a psychopathic tendency he does not have feelings z a role complete zero feelings he is only using women and using their trust using their love to receive all kinds of things using people as a resource of money time uh psychoemotional resource connection so on and so on and he will be using the victim as long as he wants as long as he wants uh and uh, they are extremely charming extremely good looking extremely uh knowledgeable skill in sex so they use sex and use intimacy as another method of manipulation they are self absorbed of course narcissistic uh, with a psychopathic tendency they first will present themselves before a victim as a dream come true they don't seduce just for, uh, for they don't uh, they rarely seduce a woman just for fun uh they usually do it with a woman who can give him something means uh again resource money connection so on they can even marry if this woman marriage with this woman can't bring him to a certain position in society but they use everything they use uh, self gas lighting gas lighting uh, manipulating uh, they um, up to the point you see like if you catch him literally the seven of sword if you're going to i i gave this example many times 
Uh, it's a real life example, a real situation. A woman comes two hours earlier from work. She literally finds the man she lived with in the bed with another woman she doesn't know. She has very good a uh, strong will, so she looks at them and she silently, um, no, not silently, she calmly says, when I come back in 45 minutes, you bastard and this bitch must be out of my apartment. And she leaves, she goes to the park, drinks, drinks some coffee somewhere. When she comes back, he in the kitchen cooks dinner. She tells him, what the hell are you doing here? I told you in 45 minutes when I come back, you must be out. And he turns to her with his big eyes and he says, what are you talking about? Honey, are you all right? What are you? I just came. I was making dinner for you. What are you talking about? So he makes you doubt your sanity. And he was so skilled, Seven of Swords, that she, believe, can you believe it? She, be, she started to believe him, but she was not that, you know, that soft. She got the cameras from security when this woman came in and came out. Another example of Seven of Swords, uh, a woman um, finds the uh, intimate corresponding uh, of her husband with one of his um, lovers. She reads it and she cries. He comes, he takes the phone. Just in front of her eyes, he deletes the messages. And he says, just, just in front of her, and says, why are you crying? She said, I found messages in your phone. You're talking to another woman. Uh, and uh, she says, how great was the last night? And he tells her, what are you talking about? She said, you just deleted the messages. And he says, you need to go uh, and visit a specialist. What are you talking about? You're, you're insane. You need to go to psychiatrists. You need to go to psychologists. So they manipulate and then they use all methods of manipulation. Uh, gaslighting is one of them. Is a hugely used uh, black gaslighting, guilt, shame, blame, false compliment, black man. They use it all. They, but they first gonna charm, seduce. They gonna make her trust him, and then they they really are capable to throw, you know, first couple weeks or months if if the victim is valuable, they represent themselves as. Uh, Prince Charming, they can buy tons of roses, they can take you to beautiful restaurants, they really will act this whole movie as if they were in love with you to the moon and back, but the horrible truth, the horrific, terrifying truth is they love nobody. They are capable of loving, but they love to play. The game makes him feel powerful. And the roles they play are Oscar Wars. Horrible. And of course, he will always cheat. He will always set up, betray, being intriguing, uh, this is uh, also total control. I've seen real situation with such card. When he had cameras in her laptop, he had cameras in her apartment, he had cameras in her car, total control. Because when he knows he... She thought she was losing her mind because he knew who she was talking to on the phone, who she wrote email to, what she had happening at work. It was horrific. It was total control over every move. And also, this person makes all possible to cut all of the, um, all the uh, connections of yours with people who can 
try to pull you out of the it's a spider it's a spider uh, when a spider has a fly in his web he doesn't let her go and the problem is that he makes this woman completely dependent so he tries to make her financially dependent emotionally dependent neurotic dependent sexually dependent dependent so this woman becomes maniacally dependent on him uh, and every word every negative word he says she she crumbles down so uh but at the same time, if a victim tries to get away, he will use lie, he will use, uh, again, blackmail, he can threat. It's, it's a very negative. He hates when a victim tries to get free. But uh, usually, usually they don't even have to bother that the victim gets free. The scariest of it all, that when you see this card... The scary is that there is little chances to pull this woman out of this hell. This is Stockholm Syndrome. This is adrenaline and dorphin dependency. This is all kinds of horrific dependencies, toxic, abusive relationships, and a woman believes that she must, she will die if she gets away. She doesn't listen to nobody. Uh, she doesn't want to listen. She runs away from anyone who tries to pull her from this hell. Unfortunately, the longer the woman stays with such a man, uh, the more her health deteriorates because this is also energetic vampire. So beauty is gone. Usually after several years with living with such a person, you will see 25-year-old woman looking like she's 45 and like she lost her mind. It's going to be this glass empty eyes, pale skin, uh, very, uh, very skinny. She can be shaking hands even if she's a young woman. Uh, physical health, emotional health, mental health. Uh, it, it's a victim of such a man. So if you see this card, it's your job to uh, to please warn because this is horrific. This uh, the results, um, the outcome is horrible. If you ask me, is there any hope? No, no, no. Just like with the devil, there is no hope. There is only one way is to uh, run away from this because there is no other other ways are possible. Uh, in reversed. Uh, position it would be even worse uh unfortunately this card is extremely dangerous in all the aspects now in the general meaning uh general uh general uh meaning of this card uh again would mean the same but there is one aspect you need to know if if, because sometimes it happens, if you are in a complicated situation, even if you are with a person like this, uh, with a narc, and uh, you are asking, what is my advice? What do I do? How do I get out of it? If, if you're complicated situation, and this card comes as advice this card comes as advice, then it tells you it is dangerous to be straight and honest for you. For example, you are dealing with a psychopath. Can you come and say to the face of a psychopath, I know who you are and I'm going to make things right? Psychopath is going to destroy you. They don't feel nothing. They are they worse than animals. They are beasts. So if you are dealing with a dangerous situation for you and you're asking the cards, so what do I do? How do I get out of it? And you get this as a card of advice. It tells you, don't, you know, don't go straight. 
to the face of these people and tell them, I'm going to deal with you. I'm, you know, truth is on my side. You cannot do this. You would have to be very, very careful. You know, uh, I've seen it, for example, a wife who wanted to divorce uh, a psychopathic husband who also you, was a lawyer and had a big position in that city. So she, she would have to lie because that was the only way she could get rid of this horror she was living. So she would have to say, I'm going to uh, visit, uh, I don't know, um, I, I'm going to volunteer in the hospital from 5 to 7, then I'm going to go to a beauty salon. So she had to lie and she had to um, really, you know, be extremely, um, like, careful and she must... Um, like you cannot tell the truth because this people or this person is playing extremely unfairly towards you. So if this is a card of advice, it tells you you cannot play honestly with this person or this people. You need to also become very sly and, and, and very... Um, you know, if you have to lie in order to save your life and save life of your children and loved ones, then you would have to do this. Uh, not even if you consider it immoral, because people you are dealing with are going to destroy you if you're going to play openly. This is if this is an advice. <clears throat> now, also, if you asking, for example, you are going to travel to another country and what is my trip going to be are there going to be any issues you see this card you will be uh having huge risk to get into the claws of the thieves or can i trust this person of course not of course this is a thief this is insincere situation uh, someone is hiding their true motives from you. Someone wants to use you, so on and so on. So you have to be extremely, extremely careful. But if you, again, I repeat, I want you to remember that get it as an advice. You have to lie to survive and to save those you love. Then... If you do it, you can win. You can outsmart the enemies because the enemy is thinking you are stupid and you are too honest and you are too naive. You cannot uh, play with them using their own methods. And this card tells you if you play with their own methods, you can win. You know, you can win. So you have to be careful. Uh, of course... Uh, but again, it's a huge warning. It's always be very careful. It's always whatever. Can I trust the situation? Of course not. Should I get this job? Of course not. They're going to be using you, manipulating you, and probably you, you can end up in serious trouble. Um, someone is playing against you. Especially imagine this together with the devil. Imagine this together with the moon. This would be horrific. Now, um, in reversed position, in not in love and relationship, but in reversed position in general, <clears throat> this can tell you uh, that someone is using not legal methods uh, about something, about you or something else. Uh, also, uh, if you receive this card as an advice in a uh, reversed position then it tells you that tells you just the opposite do not lie do not uh, play dishonest game but if you still don't know how to come out of this situation you need to consult with someone who knows get an advice this card tells you get an advice from someone who knows but be careful to 
uh, be used by someone else when they are going to press your emotional buttons, meaning they're going to use guilt, shame, blame, guilt, shame, blame, guilt, shame, blame, also feeling of responsibility. Um, of course, sometimes this card can tell you about the possibility of masks coming off of someone who was wearing a mask mask coming off for example this person uh, already has taken everything from you what he wanted to take and then i've seen this situation as well uh, and um, he simply came to her and she said, I've never seen such horrific eyes. There was eyes of a devil. And uh, he told her, this is who, who I am, who I truly am. And I already have, and you, you have nothing else to give me. So this is who I am. So get your stuff and get out of this house because this house is now mine. So mask coming off. Anyway, this is a horrific, horrific card. Also in reverse position, this shows you instability in finances, instability at work, and also people talking behind your back or someone is talking negative about you. And also someone can be using you in doing something illegal. If you know about it, you have to say in work and finances, uh, in profession, uh, this this is interesting meaning. In work, you can achieve success if you do something illegal, if you uh, do something against your own principle. You can achieve good results, but of course, uh, just like with the devil, you you will become dependent on people who are using you in this situation, or you're going to become dependent on the information someone will know about you. Um, also, for example, you are getting a consultation from someone and you're asking the card uh, how good that advice is going to be. Will I be able to use it? That, that's a wrong advice, unfortunately. And if someone is acting for example, it used to be your enemy. Suddenly, this person starts to act with you nicely and sweetly. You take your deck and you're asking, uh, is it really sincere attitude from this person to me? You see this card? Of course not. Of course, this is manipulation. Also, at work, it can be manipulation with documents, shadowy businesses, manipulation with money. So be extremely, extremely, extremely careful. Uh, if you are um, about a person, of course, obviously this would be the same. Um, about anything, it would be, <laughs> it would be negative. Interesting thing that the card can show that you are being used. For example, you uh, made a discovery and you came with this discovery to your boss. Boss said, that's wonderful, we are going to work with it. And then you find out later that boss told everyone that it was his discovery. So someone is going to use your achievement, someone is going to use your job, someone, you're going to do the job for someone, and they will receive the award, but not you. Uh, at the place of work, in career, uh, intrigues, uh, someone's talking lie uh, behind your back. Anyway, very, very, very negative card. In reverse position, also negative card. So whatever happens, you need to uh, take it as a very, very big warning. Now, if you're asking, the spe of course, personality uh, who is this man or who is this person and you get this as personality I have already described you the personality this would be a personality in upright position in reverse position even worse but if you're asking your spirits for an advice and what do I need to know right now your self-development about your self-development you get the advice of seven of sorts from the spirits and you're like okay what the heck it means what 
it means if the question was about your self-development and the advice from your spirits it means that you uh, need to sometimes uh, be uh, ready to face the truth not run away from the truth but to face it sometimes you spend your entire life believing that your grandpa was saint and it turned out to be the information comes out that it was not true so do not be afraid to take the masks off the people even if it's your mother or father because we are being told our entire life that for example we must love our mothers and fathers we must and even nowadays you know the uh, offices of psychologists are scheduled uh, 10 months ahead especially in europe with people from 20 to 92 who were destroyed by one parent or both and not even physical abuse but by making the children believe they're worthless or neglecting them or being emotionally abusive or making them believe for their non-capability of achieving nothing this is everywhere everywhere you look so you don't you are not obligated to love your father because just because your father even in spite of the fact he abused you and looked at you as at as, as if you were an empty space you are not obligated so uh, example don't be afraid to remove the masks from people and to face the truth face the things how they are and your own shadows face them embrace them and learn to accept yourself even with those shadows then everything is going to become clear and also be ready to say goodbye to the past and take responsibilities for the things you've done in the past even if they were not very wonderful and you are ashamed of those you know what you can make right try to make it right and don't be afraid of your own shadow embrace it and uh, take responsibilities of, of who you are who you were and who you're going to be and face things and people how they are do not be afraid to remove their masks so this is it about seven of swords my beautiful uh souls and um i hope it was helpful i uh will talk to you later namaste